Welcome to lecture 43, Ref Keyword. So in the last lecture, we talked about the difference of passing by value and passing by reference. Now, when we do pass by value, it passes actually a copy or just the value itself to the function. Rather, but what if we wanted to force a value type to pass by reference? And in that case, like when we built the extra credit program, we can, we can use the ref keyword to actually force the value type to get passed by reference so that any changes the function makes itself will actually affect the original variable. So let's go ahead and recreate the last program with the extra credit exercise. So let's say int students grade equals at 75. We're going to create a function called public static void give extra credit. I'm going to pass in an int. So give extra credit, this function requires an integer as a parameter. So you can only use it if you supply it an integer. Then inside of here, I'm going to say um, students grade plus equals three. And then up here, I'm going to then call that passing in students grade so give extra credit student grade and then console.write line student grade so I want to see if I actually see an update in students grade it should print 78 but we know it's only going to print 75 which it only prints 75 because the changes made inside of this function are not reflected because it's passed by value but we want to force it to work so we're going to pass by reference so in order to pass by reference on a value type, we're going to use this ref keyword. Now in the next lecture, there's also another way of doing this with the out keyword, but we're, we'll get to that. It's basically the same exact thing except one slight difference, and we'll talk about that in the next lecture. However, to use a reference key or the ref keyword in this example, we simply just add the ref keyword in the parameter. So we add it there. And then we also add it into the function call, into the argument call. So I put ref there. So I add ref in two places. Now that ref is in both places, it now passes by reference. This basically says, okay, don't pass the value 75 into the function. Rather, pass your location of your variable in memory. So whatever your, lo your location is in RAM, give that function, give the function that location so that the function can now access that location and any changes it makes to it will reflect both of these variables because they are basically pointing at the same location in memory. So that's what pass by ref does. So anytime you use ref, now the changes in here will be reflected. So let's go ahead and see. As you can see, it now says 78. So like I said, I really wanna emphasize Pass by reference allows you to make changes inside the function. By adding the ref keyword, we can force in a value type to get passed by reference.